militaries of the world. They are determined to go and have the best weapons and gear to arm their soldiers for what might come. In the last 100 years or so, ever since the First World War, technology has grown exponentially, and that includes the military's ability to use that technology to make bigger and better weapons, vehicles, and more. But what are the ones that are able to level a battlefield, fly higher and faster than anything else, and generally just wreak havoc? Allow us to show you seven most powerful military weapons in action today. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 7. Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II Let's start out with a military flying vehicle that many of you have likely seen at one point or another. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a fifth generation multi-role combat aircraft, one that was designed for speed, stealth, and combat prowess. It is also the only international fifth generation multi-role fighter plane in the world today, one that is still being produced as well. The funding for this particular fighter jet was primarily done by the United States. The various other nations from NATO provided help as well, hence its international nature and usage. Despite protracted development and going over budget with its making, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II has lived up to the expectations of the builders and the nations making it, so much so that the lifespan of the craft is stated to be up until 2070, barring massive upgrades in technology and such. The Lightning II has many powerful weapons attached to it, including the Sidewinder and Storm Shadow, as well as the Joint Direct Attack Munitions. Add those weapons to the jet speed, agility, and advanced sensors, and it has an edge over many other jets in the world today. Number 6. Uran 9 when you look at the Uran 9, a likely thought going through your head is, wow, that's a very heavily armed tank, and you would be right in saying that and feeling that way. But there's more to it than just that. You see, it's actually a remote-controlled tank that has a wide array of missiles, including anti-tank missiles, a series of flamethrowers, and a machine gun turret just for good measure. And again, you control it by remote. Now you might think that the trade-off here is that it's not well armored, and it's not easy to move, but you would be wrong on both fronts. The weapons themselves are on a swivel mount for easy aiming, and its armor prevents many types of rounds from penetrating it, ensuring that it does stay safe. Plus, while it is 10 tons, it is still very agile and quick in the field. Imagine a legion of these coming to a city to lay siege to it. Exactly. Number 5. Directed Energy Weapons One of the most common weapons in sci-fi is a laser. And believe it or not, the military of the United States have already created some that are in implementation right now. One of the most popular of which is the LAWS, or Laser Weapon System, and it works just like you think it would. It fires a laser at things and either hinders or destroys the target. Now, unlike the lasers you're probably thinking of, it doesn't disintegrate enemy ships and personnel. Instead, it fires a laser that will ensure that the systems on the craft or missiles it's aimed at won't work. Well, how is that helpful? A missile needs to be guided to a target, right? So the LAWS can be fired at it, disrupt its navigation, balance, or targeting systems and make it spin out of the air and land away from the ship that it is targeting. Or for an enemy plane trying to come in for an attack run, the loss can disrupt its engines, making it crash or turn away. The true benefit of the loss, though, is that it is simple and elegant, that it's actually rather cheaper to make. The United States Navy is aiming to expand the number of ships that use this weapon, in fact. But that is just one version of directed energy weapon as they are labeled. There are some who believe that the militaries of the world are aiming to expand things in a dramatic way, including being able to put these weapons on things like planes, and thus be able to do precision damage from an incredible distance, and not for defense, but for offense. There are even those who believe that the Thomas fire in California in late 2017 was caused by one of these DEWs because the fire didn't act like how regular wildfire should, as the buildings of the area were torched, yet the trees were fine. The truth is out there, somewhere, more than likely in military bases. Number 4. Cluster Bombs If you want to see true power and terror it can cause the world, just look at the creation known as the Cluster Bomb. This was a device that was simple in nature but devastating in effect. Think of it like this, when a plane goes and drops a bomb, it'll explode wherever it lands, right? Thus, all you have to do is go and leave that area before it hits and you'll be okay. However, with Cluster Bombs, that is not an easy thing to do because these are a series of mini bombs or grenades or even mines and they're lodged in a singular shell. Once deployed, the bomb will open up and spread the array of explosives across a very wide area, ensuring massive devastation and that all targets are hit. One cluster bomb even had ammunition that would explode and then send shrapnel out in a 300 meter radius, just in one device. Now multiply that by a couple dozen, and you can see this device is true power. Some were even made to make instant minefields that would last up for 40 days before detonating on their own. These devices are so powerful and deadly that over 140 countries countries have banned them for saying that they are too powerful. Now just think about that. They haven't banned certain nuclear weapons, but they banned a cluster bomb. That should say something right there. Number 3. Jobaria Defense Systems Multiple Cradle Launcher 
Rocket launchers are easily one of the most used inventions of the last several decades. They're simple to use, devastating, and easy to produce if you know what to do. And the next step up from where we are are the cradle launchers that would go and house many rocket launchers onto one base. Now, the next evolution from that is the Jobaria Defense Systems Multiple Cradle Launcher, a vehicle that is in fact the largest rocket launcher in the world today, as well as the most versatile. This is because four different cradles are put onto an Oshkosh truck and are allowed to not just be driven, but maneuver into place in order to go and lock on to enemy targets. That means that any truck can literally pull in, have the rockets launch, and then be gone in no time flat. Within two minutes, it can launch over 200 rockets and then drive away to reload. Pretty scary. Number two, Bastion P. This Russian-made missile launcher may seem simple at first, but what it does is actually quite impressive. Mainly is that it can go in and fire a missile and then be reloaded and ready to go in just five minutes. That is a quick rollover time. What's more, the missiles that the Bastion P fires are able to go very far and even adjust itself in midair to help get to the target, even if it's a 220 miles away. It's these missile launching vehicles that can go and protect a coastline from enemy ships and hit them before they know that they're locked on. Plus, due to the supersonic speed of the missiles, it would be incredibly hard to shoot them out of the sky. And the payloads, well, they're able to sink entire ships in just one shot. So yeah, you don't want to have this thing locked onto you. Number one, Project Thor. Now, if you've seen the movie G.I. Joe Retaliation, you'll know that Cobra Commander instituted a plan to put satellites into space that would drop massive rods of metal from the sky to the ground with such devastation that it would destroy a city, even being shown destroying London with just one drop. Now, believe it or not, this is a real project that was considered by the United States, and it would be called Project Thor. Now, at present, it is believed that the project was never fully implemented due to the cost of making it and getting the massive rods up to space. But many presidents considered it for an obvious reason, lack of fallout. Because while nuclear devices are powerful, they cause radiation fallout and EMP damage that won't be easy to fix or rebuild. But with a rod of solid tungsten like Project Thor would drop, the metal would just be dropped and the kinetic energy it would build up would just plow into the earth with such force it would be like a nuclear bomb but with no damage outside the kinetic. Officially, the weapon was never made. Unofficially, can we be sure that it's not just waiting to be launched? And all at the push of a button. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the military weapons and the vehicles that help make certain nations the most powerful in the world today? Which ones do you see and are immediately in awe of? Which ones are you glad aren't used on a regular basis? And what do you think will be the next jump in military weapons technology? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.